Kakashi Hatake is one of the greatest shinobi of all time, and today I will be ranking his top 10 strongest jutsu. At number 10 we have the Summoning Jutsu. The Summoning Jutsu is a space-time ninjutsu that allows the summoner to transport items, objects, or even people. Kakashi is able to summon a pack of ninja dogs that have heightened senses and abilities. While he rarely uses them in combat, Kakashi notes that they can tear his opponents apart on his command. He's also able to communicate with them through human language, making it easier to interact and strategize. They are incredibly helpful in tracking missions with the ability to walk on water and track down targets over long distances. He can summon them separately or all together like he does with Earth Release Tracking Fang Technique. With this technique, the dogs can travel through the ground following the scent of their target. We see this used on Zabuza early on in the show. Kakashi's summoning may not be the strongest jutsu in his arsenal, but it is highly effective for support uses. At number 9 we have Lightning Release Shadow Clone Jutsu. Naruto is known for the insane amounts of shadow clones that he can use due to the Ninetales Chakra. However, Kakashi puts a spin on the jutsu, creating clones of himself with Lightning Release Chakra. Once the clones come in contact with their target, it paralyzes them, giving the real Kakashi an opportunity to finish the job. We've seen this technique used several times, but most notably when he fought and defeated Obito in the Kamui Dimension. This is a fantastic combo ability used to immobilize your enemy before delivering the final blow. At number 8, the Rasengan. Created by the 4th Hokage and Kakashi Sensei, Miyato Namakaze, the Rasengan was intended to be the highest form of shape transformation and was based on the tailed beast ball. Jiraiya described it as being stronger than the Chidori, and when the Rasengan makes contact, it grinds its target, propelling them backwards and causing severe damage. The Rasengan is extremely difficult to master and control. Kakashi learned how to use it at a very young age and even attempted to add lightning nature to it. After he failed to do so, he created the Chidori in its place. We never actually see Kakashi use the Rasengan in battle. He did however show Naruto he was able to perform the technique. This could certainly be higher on the list, but due to Kakashi never using the ability, we don't know to what extent that he could use it. Now, surely he's mastered it, but for this list, it's going to land at number 8. At number 7, Water Release, Water Dragon Bullet, and Great Waterfall. During Team 7 battle with Zabuza, Kakashi uses both abilities to his advantage while battling on the water. Water Dragon Bullet deals significant physical damage by shooting large bullets of water at the target. This is an extremely complicated jutsu that requires 44 hand signs to be performed. Kakashi was able to copy it directly from Zabuza using his Sharingan. The Great Waterfall is a devastating attack that we see in the early chapters of Naruto and is one of the first A-Rake abilities shown. Kakashi is able to take out an entire forest and it looked as if a natural disaster had occurred. Both of these water release techniques are truly devastating offensive abilities that can help any shinobi in their battles. At number 6, Earth Release, Earth Style Wall. This is a powerful defensive jutsu and it is a go-to for many earth style users. It can be employed to contain and completely encase their target. Kakashi uses it to manipulate the pre-existing earth and to create a barrier. We see him use the ability during his fight with pain and it is one of several techniques that he uses and improves upon after losing his Sharingan during the 4th Shinobi War. His improved earth style wall is large enough to surround a small village and can withstand a barrage of cannon fire. Kakashi is also able to convert sections of the wall to quartz, negating the earth's weakness to lightning. He is able to keep the wall up for over a day, making the ability extremely important in defensive situations. At number 5, the Sharingan. The Sharingan is a powerful dojutsu of the Uchiha bloodlines, and although it was gifted to him, Kakashi is just as strong as any other user. Now this could easily be number 1 on the list, due to it being the root of many of his abilities and it allows him to copy every jutsu that he sees. However, it sits comfortably in the middle due to him not using the Genjutsu abilities of the Sharingan very often. The basic Genjutsu is not as powerful as many of the other techniques that the Copy Ninja could use. He didn't rely on it very often and for this reason it's not any higher. The Sharingan is what allowed him to access all of these highly advanced techniques, but even without it, Kakashi is one of the most powerful Shinobi. At number 4, Kamui. This technique became one of Kakashi's staples during Shippuden. It was the signature power of Obito's eye and made Kakashi almost unstoppable. 
Kamui can only be used after activating his Mangekyo Sharingan, and it allows for the user to open up a portal to another dimension. He mostly used it to send projectiles and attack his foes, catching them off guard. He could also use it as a great defensive jutsu, as it allowed for him to capture energy and force objects into its dimension. Eventually, Kakashi learned how to use Kamui on himself, allowing him to teleport the same way Obito did. We've seen it used a countless number of times, but one of its most impressive feats was being able to transport entire parts of the ten-tailed beast. At number 3, we have Lightning Release, Purple Electricity. Purple Electricity is one of the newest techniques created by Kakashi in Boruto. After losing his Sharingan during the 4th Great Ninja War, he could no longer rely on Raikiri or Chidori. Instead, he developed a stronger technique that could be used from a distance. When using all his chakra to perform the ability, Kakashi can create enough electricity to send a powerful jolt into the clouds, causing it to rain. He could even use it similarly to Chidori Current, sending bolts of lightning all around his body in an omnidirectional attack. Kakashi shows us once again how talented of a shinobi he is even without his Sharingan. At number 2, Kamui Raikiri. The combination of Kamui and Raikiri enhanced with the 6 pass chakra gives Kakashi one of the strongest jutsu ever. Kakashi only had access to this ability for a short period of time while Obito's spirit was within his body. This technique is extremely fast and cannot be countered. During the battle with Kaguya, he unleashes a high speed thrust, warping the pierced part of her into the Kamui dimension. This technique was instrumental in her defeat. And at number 1, the Complete Body Susano. The Susano is the ultimate ability of the Mangekyo Sharingan and requires an unfathomable amount of chakra. The transformation of a user's Susano develops over time until the final form version is fully reached. When activated, it forms around the user and becomes an extension of their will, blocking and attacking on their behalf. The Susano can only be activated by a user who has awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan in both eyes. However, Kakashi was able to obtain his when Obito's Six Pass Spirit inhabited his body for a short time during their battle with Kaguya. His Susano was light blue in color and wielded a katana as well as a large shuriken. Its ability to use Kamui and send projectiles at its opponent makes it nearly impossible to defeat. If Kakashi would have been able to perform a perfect Susanoo throughout his life, he would have become the greatest shinobi of all time. There it is guys, my top 10 list of Kakashi's strongest jutsu. Now if you're wondering where Chidori or Raikiri are, I left them off this list because I had two other variations of the technique already on it. Let me know down in the comments section below what you think of the top 10 and what order you would have these jutsu in. Also, if you want me to rank any specific characters or abilities, just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as it helps spread the video out to other people who can hopefully enjoy it. And if you want to see more anime videos in your subscription feed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.